All right, this is Tim, Shark Aussie Bros. I am in the garage working on the 944. I had a few things to take care of. Show you what I'm working on right now, which is essentially this front headlight issue. Um, this car got a dinger on the front, and we um, had to readjust the metal down here. And if you look down closely, there's a um, gap now where there used to not be because this got pushed in just a little bit, and I had to actually end up hammering it out. And it took care of it, and it seems to be, you know, it's not connected right now, so I'm just checking to make sure that it goes down all the way up all the way. I've got the clearance I need. Pretty sure I can get this back together and make it work. I'm happy about that one. So, aside from that, when I was working in the, the pit here, this area right here is normally where the water reservoir would be. So I thought, what a good opportunity to take this out, and I'd have access to the water reservoir. I had a leaky reservoir, so... What happened was, I thought, well, let's see if I can try to come up with some way to fix this. Started checking online, you know, and the price goes up and up and up as you look. And um, I don't even know what the price is. Some are 80, 100, 150, 300 for a new yeah, Porsche one. So it's like, forget it. And this one is now fixed. So I've got it, and it's actually full of water. You can see the water in there. And I've been putting it outside just to check, make sure that it's actually holding and um here's how i did it <coughs> so anyway basically what i've got going on is i had a crack and I, I filled it up with water to find where the cracks were this one because it had been hit in the front it actually pulled this away from the plastic so this whole area here on the back side which i'm not going to pick it up because it's just too heavy and probably move it a little bit though there you go you can see all this sort of filler now that filler is actually um a product I've used in the past for gas tanks on motorcycles, and it's worked really well to fix cracks and things like that. And it's called JB Weld. So JB Weld will get you the solidity that you need on this hard plastic. Um, I don't recommend doing the seal all if you have any kind of moving parts. That's sort of it in the end. But I did put the JB Weld on, and it held together. The crack, which you can see that all the bumpy area down there is just covered with a slather of JB Weld. So mix that up good and 50-50 mix. Put it on there. You can usually find them AutoZone, any store, Home Depot, Walmart. Very easy to find. And I went ahead and I added some uh, stuff up at the top too because I had cracks along here and here. I don't know if it came from damage or time. But I, I have a feeling this is a fairly common issue because my 924 outside has a leak in it as well. I can never keep water in it, so I've got to pull that one out now that I know how to get to it. Um, it's not terribly hard to get to, and I should point that out. But essentially what you want to do to fix this is I would fix the big cracks with the JB Weld. Just smear it over, be, be generous, put a lot on, cover it, let it dry for a day or two, and then come back and I put the seal all on which is something I've had around um, my shop for a while and didn't use it. So I thought, well, why don't I just go ahead and slather some on there. And then I actually had some for a house repair that I was doing, this Flex Seal spray by this Walmart. And I went ahead and I sprayed the whole thing just for a good measure. And it worked. This is full of liquid right now. Like I, I pointed out, it's, it's right there. It's wet and it's not leaking. So we fixed it. And this thing was draining like a sieve earlier. So the connection's on here if you need to pull this out. As far as I'm aware, you know, normally by the time you get to this age of a car, everything's messed up. The lines are messed up. This is messed up. The motor's fried. <laughs> so, so it's any, anyway, what you do is there is a, a bolt right here. Just connect that. And then there's one more down at the bottom, which actually connects to this item right here. And that's it. So you've got one, two... I'm going to guess there would be another one. Looks like this one's shaved off already, so um, probably three would be about r right to triangulate it from a structural standpoint. Okay? So anyway, this is Tim, Shark House Pros. Thought I'd share that tip with you. I use Flex Seal, Seal All, and I have two tubes of JB Weld that I already threw out, so that's how I was able to repair the 944. I have a feeling, again, this is very common, so I've had it on other cars too, but um that's how you get in there and fix it uh you will need to i have this jacked up right now because you have to raise it to drop it down and it does come out from the bottom going in you cannot fit it from the top going down uh, i think the only way is if you took out all this crap who wants to do that you can actually slide it in place from the bottom up 
and get it in there. Okay, that's it for now. This is Tim Shargas Bros. Thanks for watching.